everyone and thank you for joining me on a shell finding adventure we got quite the rack line today and i already kind of started with some beans and pheasant shells and i've just spotted right uh, right here a rather nice ooh, bean cowrie a rather nice stiletto cowrie i haven't found one with this brown spot in a very long time so that is super duper exciting wow Oh, well, I was just picking up this bean calorie I dropped not a moment ago, and I saw this. My goodness, what's this one? It's a bit different. Some kind of serith shell stuck on some kind of oyster. Not really sure what that's all about, but it looks super cool. I'll keep that one with me. Well, I took an almighty step, looked down, and ooh, are you whole? Are you? Ooh, yes! Ooh, ooh, it's whole! <laughs> there we go first whole zebra volute this week and you know it's the only time i've gone shelling this week so far so yep <laughs> little zebra volute for maddie well i was just heading over to my favorite little spot now that it's low tide but what did i spot first oh wacham yes it looks empty it looks freshly emptied it's a beautifully big spotted deer cowrie also called the pacific deer cowrie of course oh it feels nice i think it'll go a little bit wide in the sun but gosh this one's just a very nice cowrie right there before the wave hits me oh wow that is a good snakehead it's very dark i can barely see the lighter color on top snakehead right there oh wow Oh, that looks very nice. It's got lovely contrasting colors. It also feels like it's going to dry super glossy too. It might even be better than the first one I picked up. But I was looking here for like 30 seconds and I didn't spot it with all the ripply water. Oh my goodness, it's a worm cone. Oh, the pattern on it looks fairly cool as well. Awesome. Right down there, I think I see a bit of a pretty crown cone. Crowned cone I should say <laughs> there we go oh my goodness that does look like an interesting one instead of pink and purple it's kind of like a light pink and brown awesome there's rather a large shell pile here I see a crown cone there we go nice and empty there's just rocks in there see a little white sand snail it wasn't the sand snail I was originally looking at I was originally looking at that one in here let's grab him out Oh, yes, that is a good one. There we go. We've got a beautiful flat sand snail. The incise, incise sand snail. I never know if I'm saying that right. That is very pretty and big. Wow. Well, the waves are picking up a little bit. Right in here, I can see a nice scallop and a nice triton and a broken bonnet and a, and a snake head. So I'm going to uh, switch hands and grab them with my right hand real quick before the waves come. Oh my God. Okay. Ooh, Triton. Ooh, water. Ooh, water. <laughs> oh, there we go. We have a very nice Triton shell. And let's see what else we can get, shall we? Oh, yeah, that scallop. We'll grab that one out. There we go. What do they call these ones? Um. Oh god, I forget what they're called. They're very nice though. They're one of the few scallops I do like to collect. Or one of the few clams I like to collect. Oh, that is a very, very shiny and glossy snake head. Whoa! That one is going to dry very, very nicely, I think. Ooh, looks like my uh, my footing dislodged a few snake heads. I'll pick them up as well. Two more snake heads. There we go. Lovely little guys. Wow! very very glossy my gosh i do like visiting this spot when the waves aren't too bad it's a very nice little conical moon snail Ooh, back and up. <laughs> well i'm sure i already looked at this section not five minutes ago but from this side i just spotted this nerite oh wow that is a very pretty nerite it's a blotched nerite i think is their common name they always have like a million different patterns on them. I've even found a, one with a pattern of a spooky face on it. But this one is very cool. I like that one. Oh yes, I just spotted that one. This one. This one. Yeah. Is that a Miracate cone? I think it is. It's in pretty good condition as well. I always love how colorful these ones are. And I found a few very nice ones here too. But gosh, this one's great as well. 
awesome little find. Well, is that finally an Arosa? It is, oh my goodness. Finally an Arosa after all the snakeheads today. Gosh, that does look like a good one, you know, wow. And right after that, first of all, there's a little pheasant shell. There we go, got a nice little yellow pheasant shell. And there's another snakehead. Oh my goodness. Is that being picked up all right on camera? Wow, those white spots are extremely beautiful in contrast to the black cowrie. Oh my goodness, that is quite a lovely snakehead. Wow. Well, let's just have a little look at this section of the rack line. I just saw a little, uh, a little bean trivia right there. Tiny little guy. See if I can hold on to him without dropping him. I see a pheasant shell. There are a lot of pheasant shells. I end up picking up so many to fill jars with. There's another pheasant shell right there. I'm kind of curious, what would you guys pick up out of all of this? You know, let me know. I would, I would be very interested. Do you, would you pick up the pheasant shells? Would you, would you pick up these hoof shells? Ooh, there's one. There's a, sorry, a graceful cowrie. Would you pick up the graceful cowrie? Oh, I just spotted that one. Oh my goodness, I do like these. I'm not sure what kind of moon snail they are. I think I've found them a few times. Gosh, they just have pretty patterns on them. I always love finding one of these. Ooh, okay, we've got a little sand dollar right there. Someone actually asked me today to show them what a, what a mini sand dollar looked like. And uh, well, here it is. They're very, very small. Don't worry, I gave him a couple before he left. And I just saw another bean trivia. I have about 35 of these and it's still not enough to fill a jar like this big yet. They're just, you just need a lot of them, okay? Oh, did I just spot something good? Oh, oh look at this one, it is quite nice. It's some kind of diminovula, um, like a, a small ovula shell because of the shape. Awesome, that's a really cool one. Well, I was just looking at this blue cowrie here. Oh, it is whole. I thought for sure it would be broken. Oh gosh, that is quite a nice one. It's still got some of its little speckles on top of it. But uh, right next to it, what's this? I am not very good at identifying micro shells like whatsoever. But gosh, doesn't that one look pretty cool? Yeah, whatever it is, I like it. Oh, don't drop it, Maddie. I would like to report that I am not left-handed. Uh -huh. Ooh. Yes, it's red. Ooh, that's a cool one. Doesn't look like a pheasant shell. Just a very pretty pink micro shell. Oh my god, strike another one off the list. I found a shell I've been looking for since forever. Wow, look at that one. It's a shuttle. I am not really sure if it's a type of cowrie or not. I just know that they're called shuttle shells. Oh my goodness, micro shelling score, yes! Gosh, I am having a good day. Oh, it is whole. Oh, it's a little bit old. It's got a bit of a crack in it. It's a beautiful little donkey cowrie right on the rack line here. Oh, bother, he's got more than just a little crack in him. Well, he's seen some battles. I decided to go down to the wet part of the rack line and what do I find? There's quite a nice yellow limpet right there. Very cool. Oh, well, first I was looking at that limpet over there, but before that, <laughs> look what just washed up. It's a beautiful little ring top cowrie. I found like a whole slew of these for like a week and then nothing. My goodness, I always like finding these. And let's pick up that limpet as well. Thank you, Mr. Limpet. I wouldn't have found that ring top without you. Oh, just saw that one on the wave. Something of a rarity for me. It is a sub-adult or, or possibly a juvenile. It's a snakehead cowrie is what I'm trying to say. That's what they look like before they get all very dark and, and sporty on top. Awesome, I think this is only my fourth or fifth one. I see a turkey wing. I'm pretty sure that these are fairly common in like, um, some parts of the USA, we don't really see many of them here though, so I'm gonna take that one. Okay, so sometimes 
I find telescoped dove shells that look like this, they're very bulbous around the top and then they're like, they thin to a point. Usually when I find them, they're like twice as long and not, you know, so bulbous around the shoulders here. See, like the, uh, like the one on the top is closer to how I would expect the uh, telescoped dove shell shape to be. But the one on the bottom is one I always like to find because they're just a bit different. Oh, look at that graceful cowrie. Is it still a graceful cowrie? My goodness, it's so pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's still uh, the Paparadusta gracilis. It's got a nice white kind of, um, kind of an edge there. Awesome, a very, very nice one. Well, hello, Sir Krabby. What is your name? Oh, he doesn't want to move anymore. Hello, Mr. Krabby. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. <laughs> oh, he used the sand to bury himself. Okay, bye. So here are the shell finds for today and if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button and maybe subscribe to see more. But for now, as always, let's talk about a favourite. And I want to hear from you guys in the comments as well, which ones were your favourites? And I do need to apologise right away, I didn't want to place all these pheasant shells so I just kind of dumped them on top, it's a little bit messy. Um, but for what we found today, there was a lot of really great calories. I found a lovely stilita, a lovely ring top, a couple of very nice blue calories and graceful calories, and of course so many snakeheads. But I think my favourite shell find today, if it wasn't completely obvious, was one that I was searching for for quite a while. It is a beautiful intact shuttle shell. I have seen these get a lot like more colourful, like more pinkish. I wish I had found a pink one, but you know what? Beige or whatever colour this is, isn't too bad either. And uh, I gave it a little nest of bean calories. I've picked up so many of them off camera. But um, you know what, just very quickly, the second favourite today is probably going to be this lovely ring top cowrie. I know I've had a ring top cowrie as a favourite before, as a second favourite, it's just such a lovely shell. And that's it for this time everyone, thank you so much for watching, bye guys!